Hi, hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> um, so I'm really, really excited <clears throat> to introduce you to my really good friend and colleague, Mala. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited about this. Um, Hi, so, guys. Yeah, Mala, introduce yourself. Tell them about you. Oh, well, my name is Mala Duki, and I am a CPA as well as a money coach. I've been a CPA for about 20 plus years. I'm only uh, like 29 or so. <laughs> I don't want to age myself. <laughs> I had uh, a few years back, I'd gone through some challenging life situations, and um which sent me into the world of self-help. And so I decided to be a money coach. Mm -hmm. I got trained by Dr. Martha Beck, who I really, really admire and love. If you all know her from, you know, she writes in the Oprah magazine and she's Oprah's um, personal life coach. Oprah so Winfrey I by life her. coach. Sorry, yes. I had a second. <laughs> yes. So I've combined, you know, both of my worlds, the world of self-help, and the world of money. And now what I do is like, I'm a money coach. I love. Woo! This woman is amazing, guys. If you don't know who you who she is, you should feel ashamed of, no, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you guys don't know me, which I'm assuming most of you do because you should be my Facebook friends. Um, I am Carly Myers. I am the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. What I do is I help people use creativity to get their mojo back and to make adulting fun again. Um, so Mala and I actually met, gosh, when did, when did we meet? Like we met. Uh, it was uh, last, last, last oh my goodness. It's, it's yeah. crazy. That's so crazy. So yeah, we met a while ago and we totally hit it off and we decided that we wanted to do something together. And so we're here on this Facebook Live. We've got some stories to tell you, some little tips mm -hmm. along the way. Um, so it should be an interesting evening for you guys to kind of tune in and spend some quality time with us. Yeah, so I know Mala, you, okay. came, you came kind of prepared with a little um, Kind of story that something something that came up in your life recently that you wanted to kind of share and talk about um well rec recently i was coaching someone really near and dear to my heart and um this is someone that i feel is you know she's definitely on the track she's an empath and very intuitive very much um someone who does not want to follow the traditional lifestyle and um and really trying to find her way in the world her joy and it really reinforces to me that um you know she's depressed because she's she's trying to fit into the mold of what tradition wants us to be and who you know in the traditional world what we should be or do and for her her path is finding her joy finding what makes her happy and you know once she's happy she is just really grounded and centered and living. You know, I, I, all, I feel that we're here. We're here to be happy. We're not here to be sad and or on the hamster wheel trying to, um, to find the time and the money to do things that we love. But we should really go with the flow. And once we go with the flow of who we are, we are going to find our right life. So that's amazing. Yes. Awesome. So I, I think we could make this conversational and that we could probably go back and forth a, a little bit and talk about maybe um, what's, what, we, what we think about this whole concept of creating more time and money and why, why the heck we're even doing this free online training to begin with. Um, if you guys don't know about it, it's called Three Ways to Find More Time and Money for the Things That Matter. We're doing it tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be awesome. There's actually a link somewhere, um, wherever the, <laughs> the words are for you, um, <laughs> to be able to grab your spot. And we've only got a few of spots left, so I'm really excited about that. But, Mala, I wanted to kind of just start the conversation surrounding being able to find that joy in our lives. You know, the time, finding the time and the money to be able to do things. I know recently for me, one of the, the key things, and one of the things I talked about in Facebook Live a couple of days ago was... Um, kind of getting on the boat and burning or getting on the island and burning the boat and stepping into just creating that time and money. So one of the things that my heart was calling me to do, which is totally ridiculous, and I'm sure some of you guys have seen me on Facebook Live being totally ridiculous, 
is just dancing intuitively. That's what I wanted more time and money to be able to do. Um, and so I started doing that. I got on the, I got on the island and burned the boat, um, created a punishment for myself to, so that I would actually do it. So Mala, what do you think about, like, what do you think, do you think it should be, do you have like an idea of what we should be creating more time and money for? Or does it go by, you know, each person? What is, what is it that you foresee as like the first step? I could, I could talk about myself. I, you know, share my story. Um, and uh, probably until 10 years ago, I had no idea of what really mattered to me and what, what was joy for me in my life. And for me, the biggest thing that I did was actually what Carly is going to start you off with tomorrow uh -huh. night. I started meditating and I was meditating like, you know, a few times a week, but not consistently. But once I committed to meditating once a week, once a day, every day in the mornings, that's when I started to get really in touch with myself. And then I figured out what is it that I really love. And then I would go like stuff that I, you know, things would be my clue. Like, what did I love doing as a kid? Um, I really had to get in touch with myself because I think for probably 20 something years, I was really lost. I was on the hamster wheel, on the train to New York City, working my butt off and, you know, not enough, had no time for anything that I liked doing or had no idea what I wanted to do. So for me, what I could share my story it was really finding time to ground myself and go into meditation to figure out who I was and what is it that brought me joy. And so what is it that brings you joy and what did you discover when you were meditating? <laughs> I wish I could just dance all day long, 24 hours. <laughs> Let's do I it right now. I'm not dancing in the with you. <laughs> <laughs> that I have started doing too is meditating every single morning I, I meditate for 30 minutes um and that was one of my get on the island and burn the boat things um if I don't do it I get a certain punishment that I uh will absolutely not do so it's non-negotiable at this point what what benefits have you seen like how have you has that created more space for you in your life and created more like has it created more time for you and more money by sitting down and meditating um, what it has done for me was I was able to identify things that no longer bring me pleasure. And I'm going to talk about that in more detail tomorrow night. Um, and it's the time aspect. It's identifying things like hanging out um, with certain friends, maybe that it's draining for me and saying no. So that's created more time in my life and more money because I'm not spending the money on drinking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Um, this is true. Right. <laughs> It's really helped me to identify what is my right life. And I don't give up my meditation for anything. It's like my morning ritual. I don't give it up for anything. Yeah. Because it really grounds me and I'm able to like focus on my day once I do that. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. And one of the things that has helped me um, create that time. I mean, really, it's funny when people tell me that they don't have time for meditation because mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, well then you need, like, you don't have five minutes. You need to do like 30 minutes now, or you don't have, you know, 30 minutes. You need to do an hour because when I'm meditating, I realize all of the crap that I don't have to do. Like there's like, oh, you know, I sit down and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to call this person and call that person and send this email and do that. I have to, whatever. And then I meditate and I'm like, Oh, that project doesn't even align with me to begin with. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, trying to hold the door. I think someone wants to come. Um, and can, can so that's funny. I'm on the phone. Sorry. <laughs> this is no, but that is what this that moment right there. That is what life is all about. Like, med this is what meditation helps you with, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, yes. in the moment. You laugh it off. <laughs> I'm, to... <laughs> I'm, on live face I'm on Facebook live. Yes. <laughs> and and actually, with that being said, this is like the authenticity that everybody's looking for. Like me dancing on Facebook Live, like doing something crazy. You we us experiencing you and your family and your crazy life. Like that that's where it's at. Like that that like authenticity. But um now I so 
I'm really, really excited to do this training tomorrow. Is there any like any little teasers from your kind of, we're both kind of doing this together, but is there, are there any little teasers that you want to give to kind of get people to join us tomorrow? I want to say that um, you already have time and money in your life. I think I said that in one of the emails. You already have it. You're just not focused on it right now. You may just need help peeling away the layers so you could see it because you're so busy on the, on the hamster wheel, you don't see it. But you already have it and we'll help you find out how you can access it and be aware of it. Yeah. You can listen to our call tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's totally good because it really is. We already have it. This is something that I grew up hearing my mom say uh, constantly. You already have it. You already have it. And um, when you when you don't believe you already have it, you don't have it. Like you just <laughs> you don't manifest it, right? But it really is like you, it's already there. It's kind of like you already have the money. It's just a matter of like figuring out the Nancy Nancy Drew mystery to get to it. You already have the time. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of creating space um, mm -hmm. and being true to what you want. But we're going to talk about all of this more in detail, how to figure out what the heck it is that you want to begin with. You know, what is your heart telling you? Um, sometimes we like clog ourselves up a little bit. So we're going to help like kind of declog your, your system here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about how to get into action and how to make the life and build the life that you want have the time, the money for the things that really, really strike a chord for you, whether that's family, whether that's uh, friends, whether that's getting into the studio more for all my artists out there, um, or, or just about anything, getting, getting, um, spending more time on, on the vacay, right? Like spending some time on the beach. So um, thank you so much, Mala, for joining me. This is, this is so much fun. Are you there? I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't hear. I'm losing you a little bit. Did you ask me a question? Oh, I was, I was just thanking you for joining you me. Did you, did you say something? Yeah. Are you, can you hear me? Now I can. I just heard the last sentence. Okay. Okay. I just sorry, wanted to thank no. you. I know I wanted to thank you so much for joining me. It was really, really fun. I hope I'm that everybody, <laughs> <laughs> I hope that everybody will, um, uh oh. I think we lost Mala. Um, but I hope that everybody will join us tomorrow for a free online training, three ways to find more time and money for the things that matter. Um, be there, be square, grab your spot now. E there is a link somewhere. And there's only, I think, I think it's like 20 spots left. So there's not that many spots left. All right. See you guys later. We love you. It's great. Thanks, Mala, for joining us if you're still there. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. I can yes. see but not hear you. Okay, okay. Uh we will Bye. see you guys tomorrow. Yes.